Hello, hello everyone and welcome to the AWS Nordics Office Hours with me, Gunnar Grosz, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate here in the Nordics. And this is my weekly show where I bring on AWS experts and other people from AWS <laughs> to talk about... <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. Um, you really hit the other part pretty hard I'm, there. I'm sorry. Well, you started with experts, and then I was I was I starting to get worried. But then well, I was afraid that people could call us out on it. But yeah, so I bring on guests on the show to talk about AWS specific topics, and this week I am super happy to bring on one of my friends, AM. Welcome to the show, AM. Bonjour, salut, bienvenue. Well, <laughs> great to have you on the show. Finally, we've been talking about this for, for, I guess it's years now, to do something together. And it is finally time. It's so time. Re returning viewers of the show, you know that we usually do shows where we look at different AWS solutions. We look at demos. We try things out. And this week, we are going to look at AWS game days. And we are doing that with AM. And this AM is your cue to let people know who you are. Ah, je m'appelle Hélène Michel. Uh, I'm in I'm in Paris right now, so that's why I'm speaking French. We can't really uh, see you that, though. But no, you say you, that the Eiffel can, Tower is behind you. Uh, yeah, the Eiffel Tower is right there. I, I, can, I can see it. And then earlier today, I was watching a man on the rooftops do parkour. Oh, really? so that's how you know it's France because it's yep. pouring around on the route. I think that's how they get around. Actually. Um, yes. No, I, I'm here for the Paris summit. Uh, very excited to be here. But yeah, normally my, my day job is the developer advocate for game day. Um, as you, as you pointed out, that's what we're going to be doing today. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I, I decided to be, come be the developer advocate for them. Very, very cool. And people who have followed the AWS Twitch channel for many, many years maybe might recognize AM from, well, some of his many shows throughout the year. So maybe we can do a quick recap of what you've done on Twitch before, AM. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, so I believe I debuted on the uh another french word actually there you go uh yeah. on the twitch channel for uh what we used to call launchpad aws launchpad um i think my very first time on the twitch channel was at the new york summit in 2018 on aws launchpad and it was because another one of the hosts uh dropped out it just didn't show and they were like you you've been here uh for two months <laughs> get up on stage. I was yep. like, okay. And as they say, a star was born, Gunnar. Uh, I'm just kidding. That's what I usually say, yes. Yeah, yeah, everyone says that. Um, no, so then uh, beyond Launchpad, a uh, colleague of mine, Nikki, her name is Stone now at the time, it was Klein, Nikki Klein, another developer advocate who you may recognize if you've watched Twitch for a while. We started a show called Build With, not Build On, don't get confused, Build With. AM and Nikki. Um, and uh, so we did that show for a number of years. We were involved in a few other shows. Um, I, I started another show called Howdy Partner in 2019. That's still running. Uh, it's all things about the AWS partner network. So we have fun people on like MongoDB, Datadog, HashiCorp. Uh, ah, there we go. Best show ever. I don't know which was the best show. I don't know if it was if Chuck's talking about uh, uh, how to partner. How do you partner or say. Nikki? Maybe I don't know. Chuck Maybe. Chuck usually used to watch uh, Build with Chuck's. Chuck's been around a long time. Oh, wow. uh, but yeah. So uh, nowadays you can find me over doing uh, doing events. Still, I still host a bunch of the events like the Paris Summit, which is why I'm here. And uh, doing my own game day show called Step Up Your Game Day with uh, me. And yeah, Chuck is definitely old school. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, so 
Yeah, and that brings us to where we are now. So you're in Paris for the AWS Summit, so we are finally in the same time zone, and that allowed us to do something <laughs> together without uh, someone being very off hours. And today we are going to play a game day. That is basically yeah. the, the end goal with this hour. So you, the viewer, get to see what game days are like and then... Well, how fun it actually is, because you mentioned that game days is is one of your favorite things, and that is very fun. And I completely agree. It is such a fun way to get started learning more about AWS. No matter if you're a beginner or if you're an advanced user, you get thrown into situations that you basically have to handle. So, I'm kind of a non-traditional game day participant, too. I my My favorite way to engage with game day is when I can either like add an event, play without a team, mm -hmm. or since like I've got access to a bunch of this stuff, I can go play content just on my own. I don't like the pressures of a team, but maybe maybe that is what we could talk about a bit to, to start things off, Gunnar, is uh, like, what does it mean when you go and engage in a game day, right? Um, and one of the first things that you'll learn about game day that's way different than something like an immersion day or workshops or other things like that is you're playing on a team, mm. right? Um, sometimes you bring your team. Sometimes you're assigned a team. Uh, for a person like me, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to let your teammates down, but I like to explore like all the different avenues and do the side quests and things. Uh and, and so people can get frustrated when I'm on their team um, because I'm not out there earning the points, you know? Um, so you actually, you put together a bunch of teams, Gunnar. I'm, I'm going to turn it back on you. Uh, yeah. You you organized a bunch of teams for the Game Day World Championship last year. We did. And, and some viewers might, might recognize that because we talked a bit about it last year as well. So we created this big tournament basically with a bunch of teams from all over the globe that participated and then uh, tried to become the, the very first world champion of AWS game days. Um, and it was super exciting. We had nine qualifying events and then uh, that then led up to the final event where the best teams from those qualifiers competed to then in the end become the world champion. And um, team from the UK, Team D55, ended up winning in the end, and they then got invited to AWS reInvent for a prize ceremony and, well, just participating in in reInvent in general, uh, which I believe they all loved. I was going to say that that was kind of a wild prize. It was a, a trip to reInvent, right? Yeah, that is correct. So. Right. Um, I well, I would say that um, there were two parts to it. Winning the the trip, I think they were super happy about that. But looking at the team, talking to them as well, um, having the ability to put AWS Game Day World Champion on your resume, I think they value that pretty high. Okay. Okay. I've seen on their LinkedIn profiles and so on now afterwards that they definitely feature it as one of the top things in their profile so I'm super cool so they weren't doing it for the uh they weren't doing it for the the gold they were doing it for the fame is what you're saying yes <laughs> yeah, the fame and the glory definitely the glory for, for yes sure, the glory yeah Absolutely. so one of the things um I really like with game days is the open and open endness ness <laughs> How yes. do you say it? Uh, yes, you, you nailed it. It's it's not prescriptive in the same way as a workshop where you basically follow steps to complete something. Uh, because as you said, you can take your own route and try to find ways how to solve the, the problem or the situation you're in. Uh, and that is, well, for me, that's something that you face in your day-to-day -day work. If you're working in the cloud with AWS, you you get thrown into a situation and you need to solve it one way or the other. And that's basically what game days are as well. Yeah. But it's just that this is a very secure way and safe way of doing it because you're not breaking production. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have a couple ways I like to... I, I've come up with describing game days. Um, 
one is I like to call it AWS Job Simulator. <laughs> yeah. Um, because basically, you know, uh, how a lot of people learn is on the job, right? A lot of people learn new things based upon the motivations that they have in their own jobs to mm. go fix things that are broken. Uh, but some of those situations, let's call them, uh, can be really stressful, not really conducive to learning, right? Maybe it's 3 a.m., production is is gone, and uh, you have to get it back up. And yeah. oftentimes you don't walk away from those types of experiences with a lot of lessons learned because you were just so stressed and so frantically getting things back up and running that you weren't taking copious amounts of notes, you weren't you know, living the experience, you were just trying to get things working again, right? So I don't know about you, but I've fixed things in the past where I'm like, I don't know how I fixed that, right? Yep. I don't know what I did. It's working now. Great. Whereas game day, completely, you know, no stress involved in, in game day in the sense that none of it really, really matters at the end of the day, no. right? Like you, your, your systems will go up and down in game day, but it doesn't affect your actual job in the end. So that's why I like to call it AWS job simulator. Uh, although let's be clear, like I said, Gunnar, especially when you're on a team, especially when you don't know that team and they don't know mm -hmm. what to expect out of you, there can be a little bit of uh, stressors there maybe. Uh, but I, I like to look at those as motivators. They keep you motivated onto the next challenge because you want to, you want to earn points, which is, one of the biggest pieces of game day, I think everybody who's played a game day will tell you the most important part of a game day points, right? Yeah. Uh, which they don't mean anything really. They're all made up, but it doesn't matter because you want to get more points than everybody. You want to get more made up points than everybody else. Um, exactly. That, that scoreboard element of it. It does. Um, so, but I've also seen throughout all of the game days that I've organized and run that some of the well the people who are usually uh, the happiest at the end aren't perhaps the ones who end up in first position the, they can be a team that's somewhere way down on that scoreboard but they just had a blast playing yeah. a game they so they learned new things they perhaps got to meet new people because they got bunched up with others in a team uh, and just had a fun time playing a game day so the competitive element, it's definitely there and it's it's fun and it's I think it's important, but it's definitely not not all of it. Yeah. And most people coming into a game day are new to it, right? Yeah. Um because they're they're really the way that game day works currently at least, um, is you have to come to some kind of event to play game day, or you know, uh we do have virtual game days as well, but they're usually tied to some kind of event or you know maybe if you're a customer of aws you have an account team your account team puts one on for your business that type of thing uh, or you've come to something like reinforce or reinvent where we have games uh playing but you know so the majority of people out there have never played a game day right and so even when you are coming and playing for the first time when you get that opportunity you're gonna likely be amongst a bunch of people that have never played so it's not as if you're getting into really, really tightly competitive. Uh, it's not like esports or something. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it's not in that sense. Now the World Championship, on the other hand, that might have that might have been a little bit different. But our our typical events are usually more aligned with people are there to learn something new. People are there to meet some some new people. People are there to test out the skills that they do have and see where they're at and try and get a baseline. Right. So. Uh, even if you are afraid of competition, like I am, uh, I would I would highly suggest you try out a game day if you you get uh, you get a chance. <laughs> I love Janiskew. Another another old school uh, Twitch viewer, Janiskew. Uh, yes, so we we did this. Uh, I don't know if you if you know get this reference or not, Gunnar. Um, Nikki and I we built a startup, and uh, I wanted to. I made a breakthrough, like a technological breakthrough that we founded our startup on. Mm -hmm. uh, and I offered DevNull as a service. <laughs> so you send me anything, anything, Gunnar, I'll delete it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So we built a SaaS company around Dev Null as a service. Uh, so Jim is cute. <laughs> so a dev null game day yeah yeah uh, dev null you would just yeah so anything you send to the game day i would assume if the game day could delete it would score you points yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's a that's a future quest in the making i can, yeah. I can see it's, it already the gears are turning yeah you you mentioned that perhaps the game day world championship was a bit different and i have to say that yes the finals they were a bit different Pretty you could really see that all of the teams they were there to win when they got yeah. to the finals. So the entire mood of it, it was still delightful and everyone had fun. But yeah, it was a bit different in that sense because uh, yeah, people were getting close to to actually winning that championship. So uh, it changed a bit. All right. Now, so, uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, is it time? Is it time? Yeah, it is. So. Okay. If you just joined us, this is the AWS Nordics Office Hours. I'm Gunnar, joined today by AM. Um, and we are going to play an AWS game day. Um, usually within the first 10, 15 minutes, we have a screen share up and starting to look at things. So I think it is time. And in the We're meantime, too much to each if other. you're We're having watching... too much fun, Gunnar. I know, too much banter. Um, but <laughs> if you're watching right now, would be interesting to know if you've tried out game days in the past. So please put that in the chat. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I started doing shows like this, actually, Gunnar, is because a lot of people haven't. A lot of people yeah. haven't gotten a chance to play because a lot of people can't get out to our first party events like summits and, and reinvent and things like that's, that. I think that's one part of it. The other part is that game days is still a hidden gem. It's I don't think many people know about AWS game days to be completely Very honest. true too. Very true no. too. So yeah. we, we're doing our bit to spread the gospel. <laughs> All right. So what are we seeing right now, AM? This is the game day UI. So uh, when you actually play a real game day, uh, you'll see a couple different UIs actually. There's, there's an event uh, engine UI. So this is this is a service that vins out AWS accounts. So because one thing that you get when you play a game day is a real free AWS account. So you don't bring your own account. Uh, you also can't, the, the flip side of that is you can't walk away with the account either. So anything you build in the account, I always like to say this up front, anything you build in this account, it's it's ephemeral. It's, it's gone after the event is over. So Definitely. some people... Yeah, it's dev null. It's, it's get sent to dev null. Uh, they're actually using the startup uh, that Nikki and I built uh, I to, to erase all the data. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't. They they use something much better than what we built. Uh, no, um, but that is something that uh, we get this question a lot: is Hey, can we can we take away the architecture that we built? Like, can we get the architecture out of the event? Um, and the answer is no, unfortunately. Uh, at this point, at least, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know that because I also, as part of my job, am always getting new feature requests to come add to, to game day. But we're we're looking at the actual game day UI itself. So I mentioned uh, Event Engine; it fins out the account that you'll use, so you can get access to the AWS account that you'll be playing in. Um, through that, and then it also links you out to this UI, which is where we come in and we look at our quests. Actually, while I explain all this, I'm pr- I'm going to start the quest because it takes maybe a minute or two to go finish provisioning out everything. But I'll uh, I'll show you here, Gunnar. We've mm-hmm. got descriptions, right? We've got a list of AWS services that we're about to encounter: EC2, Code Pipeline, Code Commit, Code Build, Code Deploy. Um. How do you feel about that? You feel good? That list of services? Fair, fairly confident. Uh, but yeah, like you said, the competitive element of it, um, being it's on a team point. now, I feel the pressure. The pressure it's, is on. It's four out of five yeah. in difficulty. So See, I'm less confident straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so now the quest is deploying, and that just means it's it's finalizing any last setup that's needed for the actual account that you'll be playing in uh, and it should in a moment refresh and it'll take us to our instructions you're really given most game days start out with with like a an intro there we go it's already moved to in progress i'm gonna have to refresh probably and then it will show the interaction there we go 
Um, most game days start with like a preliminary kind of, I, we didn't talk at all. Did we about the, um, unicorn rentals backstory No, that permeates throughout all of game day. I'm real bad about this. I always, I have a co-host, uh, on my other show called, uh, He's, he's named James Spencer. And I always make James do that part of game day because I'm not as steeped in the lore of the backstory of game day. I I don't love the unicorns. <laughs> I know you've dressed as a unicorn before. So you, yeah, you that's an important part of it for the unicorns. Do you? Yeah. Do you what? like when if I... does a rainbow shoot out when you're cut? <laughs> yes, I yeah, I bleed unicorn. Okay. That is that is true. Um, yeah, I didn't wear my costume. You didn't? No, you should have reminded me. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, so unicorn rentals is this backstory that is is used in in pretty much every game day uh, piece of content, and the the long and short of it is, it's a startup in the the expansive space of legendary animal rental market. So, which is, as we all know, a trillion dollar industry. Yep. Um, and their unicorn rental is highly successful, but you are, when you join a game day, a brand new hire at unicorn rentals, and you have been thrust into day one of your job without any kind of uh any kind of instructions nothing kind of like real life right <laughs> yes exactly so. being thrown into to a twitch show straight away <laughs> because someone didn't show up wow wait wait somebody else was booked and i'm just your backup <laughs> i wasn't no, your I first was choice you, this is the story you told us how you started out with twitch Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying that I was your... Okay, good. Now it I'm feels sure. like you just made that story up. I was worried. Uh, no, I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I won't name who didn't show up either. Because um, I don't want to name and shame. No. But, but, uh, but yeah. We'll, we'll look it up. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know because this person was supposed to be the host for the segment that I did. True. But wasn't. Yeah. But nobody knows who that host should have been. Oh, wow. It's always me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Back to game days. Back to game day. Um, so one of the things I like to point out early on, too, is this score events tab that I just opened. Um, we also have a scoreboard, which is a little different. We'll, we'll, we'll go over there for a second. Tip number one of, of any game day, if you're lost and you don't know what's happening, Check out this score events page because sometimes it'll be telling you why you're losing points or gaining points. Um, and sometimes there'll be a description in there that gives you more details. Um, so that's tip number one. But once we start winning some points, Gunnar, we'll, we'll see this. And then we've got our scoreboard uh, where our team is not there because I don't, I, maybe I didn't sign off on our name. Maybe I didn't put approved on our name. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, wow. Let me do it real quick. Let me see if I can, because it's a really important name, actually. Um, this is, yeah, I think this is what's called a rookie mistake, usually. Well, I mean, <laughs> all mistakes that I make are rookie mistakes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, all right. <laughs> you redeemed yourself. Don't you feel like a, don't you yes. feel like kind of a jerk right now? Yeah, uh, I do. Because you're like, totally, oh, hey, look yeah. at this rookie over here. I and to then... totally do. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, yep. so that's our score, Gunnar. We've got zero points. Oh, man. We're still first. <laughs> we are. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> tip number zero. So if I gave you tip number one, this is more important. Tip number zero. This is the true, the true first tip. Read. That's, that's all. <laughs> you always have to read at a game day. A lot of reading. I yep. always like to say, Gunnar, and, and why I'm not asked back on a lot of teams is I didn't come here to read. I came here to lead. Yes. And uh, if you do that, you will lose game day. You have yep. to read. Um, so we, we've got a bit of this unicorn rentals uh, backstory happening here. We've got a highly specialized fleet of unicorns. And uh, we're taking some expeditions to lo locate 
I don't know how to say this word, and I mispronounce it every time because it's not a real word. Rusinon? Rusian. Could be either. I don't know. Um, do you know? Do you know how to pronounce it? Good. I, I call it Rusinon. Rusinon. Okay. Rusinon. Okay. Yeah. Could be wrong. I guess is as good as mine. Uh, it's located in outer space. It's what unicorns eat, basically, right? Is that included in the? And it doesn't tell us what it is, but I'm ninety percent sure it's what unicorns eat. Uh, we're auditing Rusinon to determine its quality. The board of directors was impressed. Offered them an all expenses paid trip to our Crucinon. Crucions. Whoa. Our, our unicorn mana mines. I'm glad that they defined it for us. Mm -hmm. In space. And they're going to do some tastings out there. Okay. What do you pair with Rusinon? Do you know? What does it pair <laughs> well with? Know. You don't know? I don't either. Yeah. Uh, I would think Funyuns maybe. Because it's got like kind of a similar structure to the word. Funyun, mm -hmm. Rusinon. Rusinon. Like spelled yeah. similar. Okay. You're going to have to keep me on track, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still have zero points. Just Oh, yeah. Matter. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'll update. Yep. Yep. Confirmed. Yep. Zero yes. points. Yes. No score. No score yet. Uh, we've been so hired. Just a quick question oh, from the yeah. chat. How do I join the game? Well, the answer in this case is that you just help us in the chat, basically. Yes. So in this case, we are collaborating. We have the biggest team of them all. Um, so we are all collaborating to, to be team number one in the end. I think we have a fairly big chance of being that. Uh, but this is all about letting you know how game days work. So you get a sense of it. And then hopefully well, you can join one of the upcoming events. Yeah. Uh, unless you're in Paris right now, then maybe you can even join AM tomorrow. I think the, the Riot uh, game is going on out here. Um, mm -hmm. The Riot Games game day. I think yeah. they're playing that out here. Um, yes. Maybe we talk about that later. We we got points to score. Yes, uh, we have. But Gunnar's right. Please help us uh, in chat. Right. If you see something, say something. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> very yeah. important. And uh, tell us what to do. Tell us where to go. You're playing right along with us. That's how you join the game. You you didn't know it. You already. You're already in the game with us. You're already yeah. here. You've already Without joined. signing up at all. No. Just... All right. So we're supposed to be looking for a URL. All right. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a cloud front URL, maybe. That, But that they might be tricking us there, too. Think about game days, just like real life. You might get a guide. You might get a run book. You might get some instructions. You shouldn't always trust it because it might be out of date it, it's supposed to like i said it was job simulator sometimes you join a team they give you hey here's how to get your dev environment set up and you go and nobody's updated it in uh you know 17 years and it doesn't work anymore so it's just like that sometimes but sometimes they give you the correct information all right so the input field below is pre-populated oh this is why you read, Gunnar. We yeah. actually don't need to change this. It's already exactly. there. But, but if we eventually make changes so that we get a new CloudFront distribution, then we need to update that field here, I suppose. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We've got an error with our API. All right. All right. So we do have the website. It's just that it doesn't work. That's right. We're already starting to learn there are some issues maybe maybe we were hired and mm, we shouldn't have taken this job i don't know <laughs> there's no but need to shell startup life that's true <laughs> <laughs> we can make changes to the code repository re directly from code commit don't need to write any code just like real life for you and me gunner straight into <laughs> main <laughs> of course what do yes. you need a branch come on nope <laughs> All right, so uh, we got a CI/CD pipeline. We've got two CI/CD pipelines, actually. Mm -hmm. Created two. We got a web service and a web app. Okay. 
All right, so to check this then, yeah, because I think I'm done reading right now. Uh, <laughs> Too much reading for you, eh? Yeah, it is. Um, so I guess we need to get to the console then. And Here as you are. said, game days provide you with an AWS account where right. we have access to the infrastructure and you are now already into that team account. And look what's right here at the top. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. What, what are the things, so if you're new to AWS, oftentimes uh, there will be references to things in these, these quests that you may not know what it translates to in terms of AWS services, but oftentimes you'll see something like the word pipeline, right? And it tells you, you need to go look for this pipeline. Um, if you come into the console, look for keywords like that start typing those words into the search bar up here. And usually, look, we've got data pipeline. We can read a little bit data driven. We're not talking about data in this quest. Release software. That's what we're talking about, right? So even if I didn't know what code pipeline was, I would still be able to find it using some of those keywords. And look, there we go. There's our pipelines. All right. So what's wrong with them, Gunnar? So both are succeeding, at least. Yeah, that's um... good. Your current task is to complete the web service pipeline such that it automatically deploys new releases of the UOS application. Well, look at this. Here's here's something. Here's something that I'll. Oh I'll wow! Out. All right. You got so source. You got build. What's missing? Feels like we need to deploy this somewhere as well, right? The artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if we go over here, what do we got? Deploy, right? Shall we try and make a uh, a code deploy? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. All right. Getting started tells me I need to create an application. So shall we trust it? <laughs> <laughs> I always trust the getting started with such. That's where you and I differ, man. That's where you yeah. and I differ. I trust no one. No, I'm... <laughs> X-File yeah. style. I trust everyone. Trust no one. Uh, uh, so hardest part of, of doing anything in technology. What do you want to name this? Gunnar? Oh, man. Chat, help us out. Yeah. See if someone is quick. And I'll tell you what I yeah. always name everything. Yeah, that's what I usually go with as well. <laughs> I preface it with myself. Yes. Uh, we don't know where we're deploying this yet, do we? Did did the did it give us a hint? Well, we saw something about EC2 instances, right? Did we? You you said you were done reading. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I think we can go with EC2. Yeah. When in doubt. Exactly. Well, it told us that we don't have to shell into EC2 instances. Oh, I see. So, I see what I think, you're doing. Wow, yeah. look at you. That could also mean that we're not using EC2 instances, so that's why. But I think I take it as a hint. So I don't, I'm not sure what the difference between the deployment and deployment group is, to be honest with you. Even creating a deployment, you can't do yet. That's why, because you needed. Yeah, so we need a deployment group. It took me to the right place. I should have trusted this getting started wizard. It's... Yeah. All right. Unless somebody in chat tells me different, this is what's going to happen with the names, unimaginative names. So one of my favorite parts about game day two is that usually the IAM rules are made for you. So it's unlike real life. So what do you think? We're going to be doing, we got to do auto scaling groups at least, right? If we're going to use EC2. What do you think? Do we want to check in the EC2 console? Or I guess you can check there as well if there is an auto scaling group. Yeah, there might be. Oh, there's an instance running. There's only one. Oh, yeah. There's our UOS. Yeah. Is there an auto scaling group? Let's see. Let's see. T3 large. There is. There is. All okay. right. Okay. So targeting 
an easy to easy to auto scaling group. Okay. What what do you want to do? All at once? Just just yeet it into production? Uh, <laughs> no, I'd say that do half at half at a time, maybe. Okay. All right. That's still that's gonna be still... since we only have one EC2 instance, it doesn't matter at this point, but maybe we <laughs> will improve that. But, well, it'll just uh, it'll just update half of the instance at a time. <laughs> yes. It's gonna be real weird. Uh, and we already had a load balancer created for us too. That's another thing too in game day is sometimes just check the uh, drop down. There might be something already in there. Yeah. All right, we'll create the deployment group. Okay. And there we are. Cool. So now we can create the deployment. We got the yes. group. Now we need the actual deployment. Hmm. OK. It's not in GitHub. I know that. I wonder if it is in S3. I wonder if we need the deployment. Can we just use the deployment group? What do you think? Let's mm -hmm. see. Does it, uh, there's a web app bucket. But we're not working with a web app. We're working no. With web so we were fetching the source from. We were fetching the source from uh, code commit. Then we were building it. Yes. So I don't think we need the actual. I think we can just create a deployment in the pipeline and use that deployment group, knowing yep. what I know. So we would add a stage, right? Yes. So I have to click edit, I believe. Yep. I did it. I did it. I'll just do deploy. I won't get crazy here. Action yeah. name. What do you think, Gunnar? Well, I think you go with your default. That's got us this far. <laughs> Another thing about game days, perhaps, is that um, it often involves a lot of work in the console. Yeah, you can, use, you can use CLI, you can use infrastructure as code if you want to, of course. But um, in this case, a lot of it is about fixing problems, getting things to work more of a quick and dirty way, maybe uh, sometimes. That's but it's true. about getting getting used to different services and, and understanding perhaps how they work. And for that, the console is always a good option. Look at that. Seems good. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. We would use the output from the build stage, right? Yeah. OK. So I should say done. And then save. All right. What do you think? Just Oh, yeah, let's release a change. <laughs> you. Uh... What's your style of game day play, Gunnar? Do you, uh, are you I... <laughs> No, I think I'm more howdy partner type thing. So howdy partner. Wild, <laughs> wild West. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with howdy partner. Oh yeah, no, wild that West. wasn't very clear, but yeah. Okay. No, I think I'm more of a wild West kind of uh, <laughs> game day participant. So if it works, you usually score high and you are very successful. If it doesn't work, well, you at least had fun. Sometimes they penalize you too, though. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get negative points. I don't that know. That is true. Yes. In this case, I'm not sure if we'll get negative points because I, I don't think that they can actually detect this. Uh, but usually when you have like an input field, if you put yep. the wrong input in, that's definitely going to score some negative points for you if you uh, almost certainly will score negative points. Yes. All right. All right so so we're running. it is running. Um, we are playing an AWS game day today with AM here on the AWS Nordics office hours. Um, and well, the question before was how to join the game. And if you're watching, well, then you are part of a game. Uh, we are all playing. Uh, we are all trying to, to score points and in the end be the first team on the scoreboard. 
Yeah. While this is running, we got to give a shout out to uh, the Quest builder, Josh yes. Morgan. Josh Morgan built this Quest um, for reInvent 2022. So uh, some of our viewers, if you went to reInvent 2022, you may have played this Quest as part of the New Frontier Quest line, which is why it's in space. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh, that's not good. What did we fail? We need one. Oh, right. All right, so we only have one instance. Yes. So maybe we need to go... I think this was my half at a time. Oh, <laughs> got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Well, let's let's change the auto scaling so, group. Yeah, let's make sure to have desired capacity. What do you want to do? I usually go with three, no three. matter the workload. Yeah. Always prime. <laughs> what? You always pick a prime number? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All Those right. Magic numbers, aren't they? Prime yeah. numbers. Okay, so uh, now we get to now we get to wait for the the glorious uh, EC two spin up. <laughs> yep. So that is going to take a few additional minutes. Um, it already says we... three running. Oh well, we're no, in initializing. Yeah. So it's going to take a few Probably minutes. We can retry. Oh, you're brave. I'm brave. I I, yeah. I follow the YOLO method. Um, <laughs> yeah. If I just YOLO like as much as possible, then I'm gonna yeah. get points. Exactly, and the app isn't working right now, so it can't get any worse. <laughs> That's true. I mean, yeah. we could delete the instances altogether and not have an app left. Um, no, well, <laughs> we still have the front end working, so it's just the APIs. So. That's true. Do you need an yeah. API? Is that no, not really. I don't think so. Nope. So yeah, and you mentioned Josh created this, yes. this quest, and um, I, I guess you haven't talked about that, but a game day can consist of multiple quests. So this is one quest, but it could Correct. contain several quests. Correct. Yeah, I mean, we're getting into a little bit of history of game day here too. Quests are a relatively new thing in game day. Um, it used to be that when you played a game day, it was a set amount of content that all interacted with each other. And it was usually somewhere between three to eight hours in some cases, mm. right? And so you played from start to finish and it was all the same, um, I'll call it storyline. Um, and all the challenges were related to one another. Now we've we've modular modularized, ah, that's not a, not a word that I'm going to conquer today. We've we've created a modular system that allows us to uh, build quests, and so quests are like standalone, about forty five minute to an hour long pieces of content. And uh, a behind the scenes view of this is you've got a bunch of people at AWS who are um, operating these for you as you are playing. Um, I'm pooling dual roles today i'm operator and participant um <laughs> yeah. so kind of uh kind of not fair because i can come in and give us as many points as we want Gunnar. uh just i'm just gonna throw that out there but uh your operator is now able to pick the content instead of just saying you have to do the security game mm. day right so you can mix security with serverless with uh chaos engineering and I believe you get uh, Gunnar Grosh out of that when you mix those things together. Um, I think. Yeah. Isn't that what comes out on the other side? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Uh, so yeah, quests are uh, more modular content, uh, shorter content, and able to be composed into a larger experience. So we're only playing one quest today, but normally this quest tab over here, you'd see a few over there and you could you could actually swap in between them you don't have to play them in order typically hmm. um you could play them at the same time okay we're still we're still in progress it could be good something failed oh that was our history so i thought that was the pipeline now. view i was like uh oh i mean that's expected all right it failed that four minutes the, ago. No, that was the previous one, right? Huh. 
Maybe I started it too soon. Press deployment so you get to the list. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it's in progress. Okay, and look, oh, installing. Oh, nice. I wonder yeah. if we refresh. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at this, people. There you go. Oh, a lot of 404s. <laughs> <laughs> We can see maybe if the API is working though. Oh yeah, look, look at that, Gunnar. Oh wow. You made an API call. Okay. That's good. Well, I, wonder... I am now super interested about the scoreboard or scoring events. Oh yeah, let's see. We have a score events yet? Not yet. Not yet. And sometimes it can take a minute or two. Uh, it depends on what it's trying to judge right now. Um, so depending on how Josh made this quest, this is giving you some insights again into, uh, the quest development and how you as the participant can sometimes take advantage of that. Uh, Josh may have scored the actual code pipeline itself. So since that's still running, we may not get points until that finishes running. Right. He might be scoring the API itself. Uh, so if the, he can make a call to the API, he might give us points. I'm going to guess he's scoring the actual code pipeline mm. because we haven't got any points yet. But I don't know that. Hold on, hold on. All right, so this is still going. Only one still. Maybe we uh, maybe we shouldn't have put so many instances. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not sure who picked three instances. Yeah, I don't know who that was. That, that was so long ago. There's yeah. no way of knowing. Um, and this immediately this this video gets sent to Dev Null, so we can't review the video later. That is yes, that is true. Uh, well, all three instances are okay at least, so they should be able to be deployed too. Oh, you're yeah, you're checking too, aren't you? You're, oh yes, you're in this as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're all running. Oh, hold on, there we go. I'm on hotel Wi-Fi too, so some of this UI refresh isn't quite. Uh... Is this the previous pipeline or? It says seven minutes ago, so I'm guessing yeah. yes. It's interesting that. It hasn't updated to this yet. But maybe that's because I just reran the deployment. Well, for me, it says that. Is it in progress? No. Huh. But it. Hmm. <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> I clicked yeah. the button. Oh, it still says failed just now. It does. Another deployment is already in progress. Oh, yeah. I oh, wonder you just, if... you just retried the deployment, right? Yeah. Not the entire when I... pipeline. Yeah. No, yeah, just the de... not the entire pipeline, just the deploy stage of the pipeline. I wonder if it's gonna count it though, since I didn't rerun it through the pipeline. Should I stop this deployment? Oh look, now it's going. I no. don't know. What do you think? <laughs> oh, we're at two now. Oh, yes. I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, see, in a real game day, if we were playing with multiple quests and, and against uh, different teams and things like that, um, this is a good point in time where you, you know, parallelize your team, so to speak. So uh, you, you create uh, some threads and you assign your team those threads and uh, balance the memory. And I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stop making computer science for it. You basically split up all the challenges or tasks within a game day quest, and then you allocate people on your team to take care of individual things because you will sit around waiting in some of these quests for things like deployments to finish. Yeah. Uh, it's just like real life. Um, so normally at this point, we would have said, okay, we're going to go look at this other quest as we're working on this too because you want to maximize your points. Some of the, the really successful team I've seen throughout many game days, they did exactly that. So 
Okay. Maybe there are three, four, or five people, and then they start splitting up tasks. So they can do many things at once. Um, is that divide and conquer, I guess, the strategy? That's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> here's, my, here's my strategy. If this doesn't count it, what I propose, knocking it down to, uh, <laughs> to two. <laughs> two, and yeah. then... And then rerunning it because uh, I'm sure it's ex it's it's extremely captivating television here. We we have ten minutes to go and we still have zero points, Sam. I think oh, this is... I can fix that, but uh... yeah, I know uh, maybe not the, <laughs> the first option. But yes, if we're at two minutes to go, then okay. we'll fix it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, this is a. Uh... Yeah. I don't remember it taking this long, to be honest with you, when I've played this in the past. No. We're getting to allow traffic. It's almost done. Yeah, so it's the it's the load balancer part of it. Yeah. Yeah, we could talk right. about it. Hmm? So uh these stages, right? Like Yeah. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? Yeah, um, this is usually, like part of code deploy, right? Yeah, usually from a YAML file. Yes. Where you define the different the different stages or events in the deployment. Now we're doing DevOps. Yes. Oh well, you can't do DevOps without YAML, basically. That's I is that a requirement? I think so, yeah. Let's see. I'm getting lost in all of your code pipeline tabs. Um, so which which one is the current? It still says failed. <laughs> oh, I don't think it counted it. Uh, let's see if Josh has quested. It didn't, I don't think. Let's, uh, I'm going to knock it down to two. Why did you allow me to put three? <laughs> I didn't know it was going to take so long. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, okay. And then I guess maybe if I just retry, it'll say, uh, hey, you already did it and it's successfully. Yeah. Happened. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It would be. But we did at least fix the pipeline. We know we did. Yes. Because we've got this wonderful page. Look exactly. at the mustache here. Oh, and look. You oh, wow. get like information. Paolo das Einhorn. Oh, he's French. Yeah. Richard L Unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Alejandro. Yeah. Let's see. Just the Dutch as well. <laughs> <The Dutch. laughs> All right. I, so I think it's gonna actually I think it's gonna actually rerun the whole thing. <laughs> oh. And it's still counting three instances. <laughs> Gooder. Oh, Gooder. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, this is <laughs> such a disappoint disappointment. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I I am still the best, though. Uh, That's just true. With, just with zero points. Well, hold on. Hold on. So, just, just hold on right there. Oh, things are starting to happen. Yeah. I have a good feeling about this last retry. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. That's not what I was telling you to hold on for. No, no, no. I was just trying to this make is... up a lie. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, that didn't even seem to work either. Maybe I put in too many points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. That worked. No. <laughs> we can't even get points through cheating Gunnar. we can't even cheat no wow that's yep <laughs> it's disappointing oh let me, it let, me is. Uh, let me see this but uh, maybe this is is telling a story about taking part in aws game days that even though 
you. <laughs> I'm I'm wait I'm waiting to see how this ties back. Cheats detected, no points rewarded. Yeah. Wow. Can't do it. We're still in progress. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to get very far in this quest. I don't think we will. Uh, All right. So, yeah, I guess it's time to wrap up. We'll let this deployment keep on going in the background. So, how do you feel about our AWS Game Day participation, AM? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Um, if you I... were to to rate us as as participants. I would give us exactly what we scored. <laughs> oh wow. Zero. That was rough. <laughs> no, but we're we're also ranked first somehow too. Yeah, that's so true. So even though we score zero, we're still in first place. And that, yeah. that that's how I feel about this stream too. And we um, have this as well. There's nothing better than a Monday morning deployment. We actually, yeah, got to live through a pipeline deployment and deploy to some EC2 instances. And eventually, we will get those points, I'm quite sure. If you want to see how we actually ended up scoring, well, follow AM on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'm sure he'll post the, the final scoreboard there eventually. <laughs> if we ever get points. Oh, we are getting points. I'm not giving up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Connor, right. uh, what do you yeah. think about game day? Like, if you had to describe game day, I always like hearing other people's descriptions of game day. No, but I, I, like I said before, I the part that I really like about it is that it isn't. Uh, even though you're getting a task, you're getting hints, maybe, but it's not descriptive. It's not telling you step by step what to do. Um, so. It is up to you, the team, the people participating to come up with a way of solving um, whatever you're facing. And, and that's really what I like. Then, of course, the competition of it all is fun as well. Um, if there are more than one team, well, then you can actually compete against others as well. And, and certain game days, they are more competitive than others as well. So it depends a bit on, on the game day you're actually participating in. It does. It does. Um, I, I think too, it's it's a really easy way to get access to an AWS account that you can't mess up, right? Like you yeah. can't destroy it. I mean, you can actually <laughs> destroy it. Like we could come in and de delete all of the EC2 instances, never score points, etc. But we're not destroying anything of substance that affects our our day-to-day -day lives or our jobs right so it's very safe environment in which to get hands-on and learn where you don't have to worry about well what happened when i just clicked that which you saw right like gunner and yep. i both were just like let's click around let's do it um and we yep. did get it working technically i so. would say yes to that it, it is working we can see the unicorn so i think we we should have received a few points at least. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to talk to Josh about. This. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Josh, wait. All a right. Minute. So, AM, final question then: If people want to participate in a game day, where do they go? Well, we've got this game day website. Um, I'm not sure if my screen's still up. I, it's not. It That's is okay. up now. Okay, there we go. We got a game day website. Uh, you can come check it out here. Um, we don't have public events listed on it currently. Um, but generally speaking, we, we put on game days at most of the summits, at most of the other first party events like Reinforce, Reinvent. Um, like I said, Riot Games uh, has a game day going on um, either today or tomorrow, actually, as part of the Paris Summit. Um, so, right. yeah, with that, check it out there. With that, Ian, I want to thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy Paris, everyone joining us today hope you enjoyed our attempt at conquering aws game days and with that thank you all very much and bye bye <laughs>